Hello and welcome students. In this lecture, today we will discuss the new topic that is traces in the bars of composite structures. Now what is composite structure? If a bar is made up of two or more than two materials, then it is known as composite bar. It may be tube inside the tube. Okay, like uh, take an example of pen and refill. Suppose in the ball pen, which is made up of plastic material, you are inserting a refill, then there is an ink in the refill. So all this combination makes a composite bar. So this type of objects are known as composite objects. Suppose as a civil engineer, you can see in the columns, there is a cement, concrete, steel bars, etc. combinations is there. So that type of column is also known as composite bar. So now today we will discuss the stresses acting on this type of composite bars and what type of elongations are occurring. Let's see. Suppose this is the figure in which this is bar number 1 and this is bar number 2. Both are connected rigidly over here and tensile force P is acting downwards and both the bars are fixed over here at the ceiling. A bar made of two or more different materials joined together is called composite bar. The bars are joined in such a manner that the system extends or contracts as one unit. So system is acting now as a single unit. Equally when subjected to tension or compression following two points should be kept in view while solving the composite bars. First one is extension or contraction of the bar is equal therefore strain or deformation per unit length is also equal. So delta L of both the material will remain same. Second one is the total external load on the bar is equal to the sum of the loads carried by different materials. Total external load of the bar is equal to the sum of load carried by different materials. Suppose P is acting over here on the on both the objects. So uh, talking about single object 1 or single object 2, there will be load carried by bar 1 is P1 and load carried by bar 2 is P2. And the P1 plus P2, the summation will become P again, total load P. Consider a composite bar made up of two different materials as shown in figure. Consider a composite bar made up of two different materials as shown in figure. Now let some notations should be there. P is equal to total load on the bar. L is equal to length of bar L1. L2 equal to length of the bar 1. Here it is L1 actually. But now L1 and L2 both are same as shown in the figure. A1 is equal to area of the bar 1. E1 is equal to modulus of elasticity of the bar 1 material and P1 equal to load shared by bar 1. Suppose P is total load on the bar, then P1 is the load shared by bar 1 only. And similarly, A2, A2, P2 are the corresponding values for bar 2 respectively. Okay, we know that total load on the bar P is equal to P1 plus P2 as the loads acting on different materials are P1 and P2. So the summation becomes again P. Suppose this is the equation number 1. Now, what is the definition of trace? The trace in the bar 1, sigma 1 is equal to P1 upon A1. And what is the strain? Strain in the bar 1, epsilon 1 is equal to sigma 1 upon E1. Taking or replacing this formula over here, we can get P1 by A1 E1. Then after Elongation becomes delta L1 is equal to according to formula epsilon 1 L1. Epsilon 1 L1. So it is equal to sigma 1 L1 upon E1 and which is equal to P1 L1 upon E1 E1. So finally we will get equation of delta L1 for the bar number 1 which is P1 L1 upon E1 E1. Means the standard formula PL upon A which, is, which gives the elongation of bar number 1. Suppose this is the equation number 2 now. Let us see what happens with bar number 2. 
So here it is similarly in the elongation of the bar to delta L2 is equal to epsilon 2 L2 is equal to sigma 2 L2 by E1 which is equal to finally P2 L2 by E2 E2. So this is known as delta L2. Elongation of the bar number 2 is P2 L2 upon A2 E2. So this is equation number 3. But as we know that elongation as we know that our assumption is that elongation of both the bars will remain same so comparing delta l1 and delta l2 we will get p1 l by a1 e1 is equal to p2 l by a2 e2 so now l1 and l2 both the lengths are equal so we will taking as a single length l which is cut out from both the sides so final equation will become P1 upon A1 E1 is equal to P2 upon A2 E2. Okay, P1 upon A1 E1 is equal to P2 upon A2 E2. This is equation number 4. Or, make the subject as P2, we will get P2 is equal to P1 into A2 E2 by A1 E1. P2 is equal to P1 into A2 E2 by A1 E1. Now, total load P is equal to P1 plus P2. So, P1 remains as it is and replacing the value of p2 from this equation we will get p1 a2 e2 by a1 e1 take p1 as common and in the bracket 1 plus a2 e2 upon a1 e1 now taking the lcm we will get p1 into a1 e1 plus a2 e2 upon a1 e1 or we can say that make the subject as p1 now so that we can get load sh shared by bar number 1 so p1 is equal to p into a1 E1 going into the numerator in the cross multiplication upon A1 E1 plus A2 A2. Similarly, we will get P2 is equal to P. Then in the numerator in place of A1 E1, there will be A2 A2. Denominator will remain same. So this is equation number 5 and 6. These are the most important equation to find the load shared by each member P1 and P2. So now, finally, we can get that from this equation, we can find out the load shared by different materials. We also have seen in the equation 4 that. So, this is the equation number 4 in which length are different. Okay. But P by A equal to sigma equal to constant. So, we will get sigma 1 by E1 equal to sigma 2 by A2. Making subject as sigma 1, we will get sigma 1 equal to E1 e upon E2 into sigma 2. And similarly, sigma 2 equal to E2 by E1 into sigma 1. From the above equation, we can conclude that if P equal to P1 plus P2, then what is actually P? It is sigma 1 A1 plus P2 means sigma 2 A2. So from the above equation, we can also find out the stress in the different material. Okay, so this will give the equation of traces and loads shared by bar number 1 and bar number 2 respectively. Now, this is the all formulas. Let us take a couple of examples to understand the phenomena. What is given in the example number 15? A reinforced concrete circular section of 50,000 mm square. You can see this is the top view. This is the top view of circular column. Circular column and there is a top view which is having diameter or say cross sectional area 50,000 mm square written over here. So area is given. It is carrying six reinforcing bars whose total area is 500 mm square you can see this is reinforcing bars when steel roads are reinforced in the column inserted in the column around the concrete okay so one two three four five and six reinforced bars having total cross section area 500 mm square okay maximum stress in the concrete now what is maximum stress in the concrete is given that 3.5 megapascal Take modular ratio for steel and concrete as 18. So modular ratio is steel upon concrete is equal to 18. Yes upon EC is equal to 18. We know that area of concrete AC is equal to 50,000 minus 500 is equal to 49,500 mm square. And steel stress in the steel sigma S equal to ES upon EC into sigma C is equal to 18 into 3.5 is equal to 63 mm square. Actually, all the thing is given there. Why we are finding the area of concrete to finding the stress actually. So, safe load, the column can carry means total P 
is equal to sigma area for steel and sigma area for concrete which is now readily available for both the materials so now total answer is 204750 means 204.75 kilo newton is the total load carried by this member p okay very easy and readily available data is given over here so we can conclude this example let us see one more example in this case the concrete column is rectangular in or say square in cross section okay square while the reinforcing bars are four in numbers this time so reinforced concrete column 500 mm cross 500 mm see the dimension over here is 500 mm cross 500 mm in section is reinforced with four steel bars reinforced with four steel bars of 25 mm diameter 25 mm diameter means d equal to 25 mm. one in each corner so it is replaced at the corner only the column is carrying a load of 1000 kN so total load is p equal to 1000 kN equal to 1000 into 10 raised to 3 newton find the stresses in the concrete and steel bars so we again have to find the stresses not actually the load this time load is given to you and you have to find stresses in the member take e for steel as 210 gigapascal and e for concrete is 14 gigapascal respectively let us find sigma s and sigma c first of all find area of steel there are four number of steel bars so area of steel is four times pi by four d square which is the cross section area so diameter is 25 so 4 into pi by 4 25 square which gives the answer of 1963 mm square this is the area of steel 3.16 the sum is going ahead area of concrete ac is equal to 2 lakh 50 thousand minus 1963 mm square as the total area is given to you is 2 lakh 50 thousand according to 500 cross 500 subtracting the area of steel bars from this we will get 248037 mm square we also know that stress sigma s equal to es by ec sigma c actually es and ec both are given to 1 0 upon 14 m to sigma c is equal to 15 times sigma c so sigma s is equal to 15 sigma c sigma s is equal to 15 sigma c In total load p total load p which is equal to sigma s a s plus sigma c a c so is equal to sigma s we will replace in 15 sigma c area 1963 sigma c area 248037 277 482 sigma c sigma c is equal to this value making the subject sigma c it is 1000 into 10 raised to 3 by 277482 so answer is 3.6 newton per mm square 3.6 megapascal answer so sigma still is equal to 15 sigma c as per relation so 15 into 3.6 54 megapascal is the total answer so these are the numericals in which we are getting the stresses and we are getting the forces for the composite bars just practice this numericals and ask for any doubts we will meet in the next lecture till then students very very goodbye and enjoy your